Hello and welcome to a new video of my new MMO RPG MMO um, tutorial series. And yeah, in this lecture, I will show you how to create the databases for our server. And yeah. Okay, at first we have to start XAMPP and yeah, if you have problems to install XAMPP then you can join my Discord server and ask for some advice or help and yeah, if not we can start um, so we st start um, XAMPP it's a um, local web server with um, MySQL database and yeah, if we finish with this, we can um, go to our browser and go to localhost PHP Maya admin. Then we can click on new and we have to fill out database name. I will call it MMORPG3 um, because I have um, two one. And yeah, then this one I will empty then we can go to create and yeah then we have to start with some with some fields yeah let's um, start with creating the user table and um, need at first five uh, columns and the first one will be id this is uh id of the user and we need to this primary unsigned auto increment um the next field will be a uh, username and we will declare a watcher a watcher um because it's a variable character. Um, if your username is only five, uh, f five chars long, then only five char will use. So we will do the same with the password. And yeah, then we um, need to have an email. We will do the same. And then we can say um, active. Um, yeah, we can use this one um, w for um, when you um, have a subscription or if you ban the a character, uh, you can use this one so the account is activated. And I will use tinyint um, with one because we only need the null and the one uh, in it. So true or false. And we can go to save and can go to our um, table again. Uh, we click uh, to our database. I mean, uh, you can click on MMORPG. And yeah, we need to create the next the next um, database um, or table, and we call it characters. And in this one, we uh, need only three columns um, yet. We can add data a bit more, but for our simple stuff, first we don't need it. We can add the rest later. And yeah, I will need to add an ID. And um, we declare it as um, binary, index is primary unsigned i meant sorry and auto increment then we have the user id it will be in well and we need the field length of 11 and we have the character name and we create the watcher so that's enough at first and if we modify the character we will add more fields it's only for a uh, for ground base so and i will add some uh, 
some stuff too because maybe we want to create later an administration system uh, with um, game masters and super users or, or moderators or something else and uh, that's why I add a roles field and we only need here the ID and the name and uh, the name will be watcher and yeah attributes unsigned from the uh, ID field and the primary and we need click on auto encrypt and then we can save this one so here you can add all your roles and yeah maybe um i will create a new one called roles a uh, role right uh, because we can uh, we can say that um, a role got a specific right and um, yeah then we can s um, set it to the right and um, can access with um, yeah, you can uh, create custom roles and give them, for example, uh, administration rights or something else. So you can uh, split your rights um, if you want. So we need to create this role. And then we, uh, I need to create a database uh, called uh, role permission that's uh, database uh, the database table that manage the combination of the role and the right so we need the idea of the role permission field and we need the role the role ID from the roles from the roles table and we need uh, the role right ID from the role right table and everything is int and um, attributes and unsigned primary auto increment in this case you don't need the ID of of the permission field it's not required um i will do this because um yeah then i can check um yeah it's a better overview for me personally but you don't really need this one and yeah you can you don't need to create this so and now we need another another one and this is because the user permission so this um, is like the same with the role permission but in this case the the user get a, a role so um, this is only for um, combine the user with the roles and yeah I will put an ID field and the role ID and we need the user ID everything is in then we can go to unsigned primary and yeah then we can go to save and yeah that's all our stuff and then we can go to our Unity and the config file and we have to change the database to MMORPG3 or um, how you call um, this database and yeah that's everything we did and when you go to the user model you can see there's um, this is um, 
all the stuff we have added, the character list we can add later. And um, yeah, so if you add a new um, property in the in the sorry, this was my cat. And um, if you add a new property, you need to add it in the in the table um, here. So you need to add a new a new column. So you can add this here, and you can say when you want to add it. Because um, if you use uh, Entity Framework Core, it's not really good for um, using it in an MMORPG. But if you want to use it, you can um, you can type some uh, um, some package man uh, in the package manager console. You can type update database and add migration and so on. And then you don't need to do it manually. But we use the Dapper framework, and that's why we have to add everything on our own. And so, if you add a new string or um, new new variable, you need to add it in our database manually. Okay. And if you have any problems or something else, um, yeah, you can write it down in the comments or um, join my Discord server. And if you like my content, um, you can click the thumbs up button. And yeah, thank you for watching.